Floss Tube and welcome to my channel Home Sweet Home Handmade. I'm Natalie and this is my channel where I talk about my love of cross stitch, uh, all the projects I've been working on and um, just sharing the love of needlework. So this is episode 16 and it's Sunday the 16th of May 2021. Uh, this is likely to be uploaded, I should think, on Tuesday because where we live, um, right in the countryside, our Wi-Fi is not very good. So I have to pop round to a friend's and upload it there. So so how's everybody doing? It's been about, um, I think about five weeks since I last recorded. And since then, I've had my gallbladder surgery, um, which went well. Um, had a little bit of a tricky time in recovery with pain and um, nausea and vomiting, but uh, we won't talk about that, but so glad to have that surgery behind me. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that left really kind messages of wishing me get well soon and hoping my recovery was going well. So that's great. Um, and I've loved reading all your comments um, on the, my last two videos, so. So, and as you can see, the fairy friend, my fairy assistant, Betsy Cat, I kept her downstairs because people were asking where she was. So she's in her little fairy bed. We call it her donut bed because she loves it so much. So, um, so yeah, so I've got quite a bit to show you today. I've got some um, fully finished objects, um, some whips to show you a little bit of haul and I've got the giveaways from the last two episodes as well. So I'm filming this um, well, my hubby has nipped out to do a little bit of food shopping. So we will rattle through this before he comes back. So, so the first thing I wanted to show you was um, a little pillow that I'd already finished um, but I finally fully finished it and it's the hands-on design stitch over two and I did this last summer as a stitch along with my friend Donna Ray flannel jammies farm I'm sure everybody knows it's gone a little bit skew if here but I must have done it about four times and I thought that's it just get it sewn up and I backed it with some Blackbird Designs fabric and I put a little bit of one of those is it bulb pins I think and there's a vintage button mother of pearl and then just a date charm but yeah and then on the front I put some of those um sewing pins by um Puntini Puntini so yeah I do actually really like that so I thought I'd bring down my other sewing smalls because I'm getting quite a little collection. So, so this one here, I've shown before, but I thought I'd bring it down. This is um, by Luminous Fibre Arts. I think it's so tweet, I'm not sure. So I exchanged, I can't remember what was here, but I thought I'd exchange it with the safety pin. the 2020 charm and then the other one that I've got is um, the Plum Street Sandler's so, um, Mice in the Sewing Room love this one like the tape measure at the bottom and the vintage um, backing fabric so yeah so I've a whip that I've got in my stash is the um, Brenda Juvet I collect and it's the one with the jar with where you can put the mother of pearl buttons so I'm aiming on um, trying to get that finished up so I can put it together with my collection smalls so yeah I'm glad I finished that one up it had been languishing as I say since last summer and um I think I used, mm, I, didn't, I don't think, I think I used some of the called for, so, 
So I'm going to pass the stash on this chart. It is very creased and quite loved, but you can still use it. So if you would like um, to stitch this, and I only wanted to go to a stitcher, um, please be a subscriber, um, like the video, um, and in your comment below, say I would like to stitch the strawberry. Okay. Cute. Um, and then the other fully finished, I just, last um, year, 2020, when the Australian um, bushfires, there was a lot of um, patterns released to raise funds. And I, and I did one of them and, it, and I'd finished it up and it was just tucked away in a project bag. And um, I saw this little book um, box in the works. It's called Memories Box. And I thought, yeah, that'll go really well. So I've tucked, it needs a bit of an iron. I've just literally tucked it in here this morning. Um, and I might paint the box up it looks like a book I like it but yeah I like that and then I think I might keep it on my desk and put little buttons and things in there or washi tape or anything but I like the fact that I've got that out of my project bag and you know it's being used so I must take it out and iron iron it because I've just I just slipped it in there this morning so you could see it so yeah so that was as i say from the works the memory box i think it was something like three pounds so i may get around to sort of doing a bit of painting and chalk paint effect on that or i might just leave it as it is so that's my second fully finished although it wasn't very much of a finish was it but at least, um, you know, I'm using a finished piece of stitching. So the next one, I started this when I came out of hospital as a little treat to myself. Um, and I actually started it and finished it and fully finished it in a week. And this is Heart in Hand Doodles Spring. And I love that. It was sold out in quite a few places, but I managed to um, pick it up from Chris at the Nimble Thimble, who has swapped her Etsy shop onto her website now, which I'll link below, and she is amazing. So if you need anything, she will get it for you and kit it up and everything. So, so yeah, as soon as I saw that, I think this was a Needlework Expo um release and i thought yep i love that so this is my finish so i changed a few things you may notice the rather obvious thing of the hand <laughs> now i must have stitched that hand about five times and isn't it always the way when you've got the simplest counting to do, you just make the most errors? And I just kept counting and counting and I couldn't get it to work. And in the end, I said to my husband, I said, I, I'm just gonna leave that because um, it, it quite amused me. And um, I sort of altered the hand one. Um, so yeah, and also I didn't put the, there was some French knots here, which I have since fully mastered um, on a little Halloween pillow that I'm in the middle of fully finishing that I will show you next time. Um, they've always been a special specialty stitch that I just couldn't do. And I ended up watching Emma Jones, who's a vintage sewing 
box which I, I'll link her below um, and she does um, a lot of English paper piecing and embroidery and I've actually managed to f master French knots so I could have put them on but I'd already finished so so you'll be able to see my French knots in my little Halloween pillow that I'll show next time so but yeah I love this design and then the the chart does come with that little button there but I have this charm and I thought that looked lovely so yeah so I did my usual um, hoop finish but I did a bit of a search on Etsy and I managed to find this amazing um, painted embroidery hoop from a shop called Linen and Thread and she hand paints this. This was the light mocha embroidery hoop and then with the little bees and I love that. And then of course my usual back from um, well, they used to be called Happy Hoopla Hoop, but I think she's changed to, ooh, I can't remember. I'll put the link below for the embroidery back. And then I used, um, for the hanger, I used some uh, Liberty, um, and I got it from an Etsy seller. Um, Blue Bell Hill Crafts. Go. Um, so I love that. And then the ribbon. I tend to use this seller for ribbon and lace and trimmings quite a lot. There we go. So there, they have some lovely lace trimmings and ribbons. So yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with that. <laughs> a start, a finish, and FFO in a week. And I, I want to say, I stitched this on um, some from Stash, and it was 14 count Zweigart Vintage Country Cream. So there's a sort of a light mottling to it, um, with all the call for threads. really like that that's um i'm not sure i'm gonna hang that but yeah pleased to finish that and in an amazing hoop as well so that's my three finishes and um wendy i'm gonna send that to you because i think you'd quite like that wouldn't you so i'll pop that in the post to you this week that's my friend in northern ireland um, what am I going to do next? I think next I'll do my haul. If that's okay. So, from Chris, from the Nimble Thimble, I managed to get the butterfly cloche pattern, which um, is, that was a, a Needlework Expo release from Hello from Liz Matthews. And um, she kitted it up for me with all the, the DMCs. I've got to bobinate them and I've got a spare really cute people get out of the way star. Really cute um Peter Rabbit thread keep. Put them on. So yeah, I love this. So I'm gonna do this as a stitch along with um my stitchy friends Amy, Amy Loves Toads and Donna Ray from Flannel Jammies Farm and I got another piece of um, Zweigart Vintage Country Cream um, to stitch it on. So we're actually going to start that on the 1st of June. So um, I'm zooming with them tomorrow and we'll see if we want to come up with a hashtag where you can join us if you like but I love that. That was my first little bit of haul. Um, as I say, kitted up from um, 
apart from the fabric, I got the somewhere else from Chris Nimble Thimble. And then I went on my usual site that I get uh, Laurie Holtz patterns and notions from, which is so hot in, here in the UK. And I got the flea market flowers. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Flea market flowers pattern. Um, which I believe this is a stitch along happening 1st of June. So I'm going to have two new starts at the beginning of June. So I love this. So it's main, it's all DMCs. So I just need to pull the DMC and I'm sure I've got some um, fabric in my stash. I love that, really colorful. So, and while I was on that site, I saw these two fabrics, they were new in and I just had to get them. They are, let me just see, Robert Kaufman um, and they're Christmas designs. And I've got quite a lot of Christmas whips, like sampler Christmas whips. And rather than get them all framed, I thought that I might make a couple of them into Christmas pillows, Christmas cushions. And so the first fabric that I got is, um, it's song sheets, Christmas music. And then it's got these like vintage postcards of Christmas scenes. So if you go on the So Hot website, it'll be under their new section. So I just really, really liked that. So yeah, that's so I saw that one and in the same, from the same designer, um, Vintage Winter Holiday. And this is um, sort of, I think it's, it reminds me of sort of a Victorian feel. Um, there's no way to hold this because they're all This actually reminds me of a um, Christmas sampler that my sister has made. Um, that's Emily Stitching from Gnome Cottage on Instagram. She's done a, Chris, um, a Santa sampler um, with all different Santas on and um, it's amazing. So yeah, I love that. fabric so that was the two bits of haul that I got now on to whips I've got five to show you um, the last one is my uh, stitchy gift for Wendy so before I show that I'll say goodbye to Wendy so the first one that I worked on is the Brenda Jouvet snowman one and I seem to be collecting all the charts with the big cups because I've got um, one of my whips is the coffee first and then I've got the um, Halloween witch one with the big cup as well so I've only did a little bit I pulled this out again last night but I've managed to get his little hand in and the cup there. So yeah, I'm stitching this on a, um, it's a DMC and it's called Grasshopper. And it's a really, really um, sort of day glow <laughs> green. Because I didn't, um, I thought it was a fairly good match picture yeah so I'm gonna carry on with him 
keep him in my rotation for the next couple of weeks. So here is um, a naughty new start because I said I wasn't going to have any new starts but um, I saw this and I could not resist so it was a absolute must. Um, I don't know what I've done with the pins, I think I've swept them away um, but it is the Puntini Puntini cat lovers. So I'm intending to make this into a little uh, sign. I'll hang it up in my in our tiny hallway. So I show my hubby, and he said, "Does that apply to me as well?" And I said, "Well, yeah, of course it does." And he said, "Well, I might have to put a little sign that says just you on there." And I said, oh, come on, you love her as well. <laughs> so I have got the um, buttons that go in the pin, but they're um, heaped on the uh, kitchen table to clear space to do this. So I'll show you that next time. So I've done quite a bit on this. No ironing here, apologies. So there we go. So the, one of the buttons goes here, the paw print. So yeah, so that's quite sort of mindless stitching. Hoping to get back to that. So this was on a, just a scrap piece of um, 14 count ivory Ada that I, I had this whip on it, which I ditched. Cause that was like my oldest whip and I thought I'm never gonna finish that. But I just love that birdhouse. And I thought, I don't really want to put it in the bin. So um, that is going to become a bit of a project bag, I think, at some stage. So yeah, so I just flipped it round and started doing the cat lover's house. So yeah, I mean, stitching it with all the Called for DMC. I think they've got like a dog lovers one as well out. I tell a lie, I have got them here. Is that the pins? There. Cat hair. <laughs> So this, as always, is in my Made by Rachel bag, which I mention every time because she is my favourite project bag maker. Made by Rachel. I love this fabric. It's called Granny's Garden. On the back. I love that one as well. And, and the tomatoes. The snail. That's my second whip. Um, what's in here? Oh yes. So in here is my other Made by Rachel bag. This is Cats in Berets. Cute. So this is my stitchy gift from my friend Anne. Stitching the Plum Street samplers sewn in friendship. And I'm using some of the cord for, but uh, mostly stitching from stash. And this is on um, 14 count um, x Designs Baby Sheep. I love stitching on this. So I've managed to um, finish the words and I've got one of the little strawberries in because I need to mind. So yeah. 
I think my aim for um, probably the rest of May is to no new start <laughs> is to concentrate on my gift stitching. The next one was a planned new start, another one for um, when I came out of hospital. And I think I showed you this on my last um, floss tube. And this is From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy Quaker Bees. This was a gift from my sister, Emily, um, who sent the chart threads and some fabric and the fabric is a klt charting bring me sunshine 14 count and i made quite a lot of progress with this and i've absolutely loved stitching it this is my first quaker and i don't think it'll be my last one um, but yeah, I love the variegation on, I think, yeah, it's Gentle Art Wheat Fields. And then I used, she didn't send the green, so I'm using Endive. This is Onyx. Um, what else is in this pack? Endive. Next wheat fields and what is the other one? Harvest basket, that's it, the wings. I can't remember. So yeah. It's a really, really fun stitch this is. So yeah. So I've just um done down to here and um, starting this motif here so I'm going to carry on and do the B and down here so, yeah. and what I've decided to do with this is I'm going to map I'm going to frame it but I'm going to um, place it on some sort of mat board um, and then I've got a lot of B fabric so I'm going to place some B fabric um, on the back and then uh, mount it in a frame myself. So, so the next one is for Wendy. So if you're watching this, Wendy, I'll say goodbye to you now um, and we'll catch up. So just letting her go. So I've got this project in my um, patchwork print bag and I picked this up again for the Brenda and Laura uh, Blackbird Designs weekend that they had to show you the bag so cute she's local to me so I've linked her shop below um, so I am doing the Darling Buds of May cushion and I am subbing out a couple of the colours because they're quite difficult to get hold of. Um, so Pomegranate and Sarsaparilla Gentle Art, I think I'm subbing out with Sandy Beach and another colour I can't remember. So this is from the... Um, Shall I compare the to a summer's day? And I believe Kim Goldman, uh, the contented stitcher, she's doing all of these. So I'm loving your progress so far, Kim. So yeah. So I am stitching this on a piece of picture this plus 16 count earthen Ada. And this is where I've got so far. Now my um, threads don't really look like the picture. So 
so I was stitching it thinking, do I really like this? And actually I do. I think sometimes photography and the dial of threads are very, can be very difficult, different. So I should just show you. So that's at the bottom. There isn't much sort of difference between the two threads, but on mine, there is. Um, I haven't ironed this, so it's quite creased. But I do really like it. And this um, earthen, it's quite a sort of brown with a hinty, hint of pink, Ada. So yeah, so this is going to be um, this and my piece for Anne and my stitching for Emily are going to be my focuses of the next two weeks. And of course, it'll come out uh, the beginning of June for because it's sort of stitch all the Blackbird designs at the beginning of June. Um, these are the threads. And I've got them on a thread keep from um, the Northumberland Sampler House. I'm enjoying that. I was a bit unsure, but I'm sure as I stitch more, it'll it'll come along. So, so next we have got the giveaways, and these are from episodes uh, fourteen and fifteen. And fifteen was a short one, and it was to celebrate my first year anniversary so but going back to episode um 14 the first chart was a paula vaughan a little girl's fancy and before i came on air i did the random comment picker and for a little girl's fancy it's um carol webster so congratulations carol um my um, email address is in the description box below. So if you just want to email me with um, your contact address and I will pop that in the post to you. And just to say that um, in the description box below is all the show notes to this episode. Um, all the details of what I've been stitching on, uh, my fully finished um, objects um, and also any links to any shops that I've mentioned. And also there is um, a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page as well and my Instagram name. So if you'd like to uh, come across and say hello. So that's Carol Webster, A Little Girl's Fancy. And then the other one was Primitive Samplers 1 and there's Rachel Turner that won that one. So Rachel, if you've got in touch with me as well. And then to celebrate my first year on Floss Tube, I um, decided to give away three kits from my stash. Um, and the first one was Spring, and it was a full DMC kit. And the person that's won that is Nic Nicole Cruz. I think that's how you pronounce your name, Nicole. She's actually from South Africa, so. Um, amazing so this will be winging its way to South Africa to you and I uh, hope you enjoy stitching the English countryside so as with everybody else please drop me an email and I'll get that in the post to you and the next one was um, the DMC uh, the country diary of an awarding lady foxglove cushion again a full kit everything in there and the person that has won that is surira yasmin i apologize i'm hopeless for names but i know that you're the um is it cutesy cross stitcher and i know you've been following me since my very first video so thank you so much and you're always so kind in your comments on here and on Instagram so I'm really really pleased that your name came up and so send me an email with your address and I'll get that in the post to you and the last one was the Christmas sampler 
Christmas reindeer and this one is going to Bonnie Tucker. So Bonnie, congratulations and I hope you enjoy stitching this. And, and to everybody that starts the kits and the charts, um, if you're on Instagram and you stitch them, just um, include me in your post when you start stitching because I'd really like to see what your progress is. So, so that's all my um, giveaway winners and thank you to everybody that entered and everybody that left amazing comments. I love reading your comments and I reply to every single one because I just, I love the interaction with you. So, so if you're watching this and you're a new subscriber, I would really, really love it if you would press the subscribe button and the little notifications bell um, and just give me a thumbs up and yeah, leave me a comment. And um, I really like to know what you're stitching on, what your plans are. Have you been doing Stitch Mania? I haven't. I've just been doing whips and I had a couple of sort of post-surgery starts but yeah it'd be really good to know what you've been working on what your plans are for the summer um are you doing patriotic stitching um have you got all your eyes on some new releases so leave me a comment because i like i like chatting with you and also don't forget to um enter the giveaway for the hands-on design little um pin cushion stitching pin cushion and put i would like to stitch the strawberry because strawberry is the word that i will search for so it's great so that's all i've got for you today it's been really great to to come back I, i've missed doing this but didn't feel well enough um at some stages to come back and but um yes so i thought i'd do it this weekend so i've got a bit of stitching to show you and um yeah and managed to keep betsy cat down here are you gonna say hello say hello <laughs> there we go there she is um so we both like to say um have a lovely time stay safe and enjoy your stitching until next time i hope to come back in a couple of weeks time um and yeah so like subscribe share this video and enjoy your stitching. Bye.